2-0. What do you guys think about that one? Oh, uh, to be clear, was that Hydra beating Toxic Waste, or is that... Toxic Did Waste that right? over Hydra, I think. So does that... I think, uh, I think that means Toxic sure? Waste beats Hydra. I think it's Hydra beat Toxic Waste. I think we have that wrong. Yeah, I think we can change I have a record okay, so as Hydra beat Toxic Hydra Waste. But that's even toxic better. Waste. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. That was a. Yeah. Um, it was Hydro 2 0 Toxic Waste. Yeah. You blame, that was a... blame Yanks. Blame Yanks for the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know Toxic Waste has existed for a little bit, and they managed to keep, I think it was NF Problem, who, despite not really. Toxic Waste not really getting into the playoffs last season, um, he actually did really well. He had a lot of. Uh, a high number of goals per game and assists per game, I think. Um, he was one of those stellar stats players that just never really got into the limelight. Uh, but Toxic Waste is doing really well, and this loss to Hydra is shocking to me. They've um, been doing well as well, so they probably deserve it. But a 2-0 loss seems like they didn't put up a huge amount of a fight. Arco, you got any thoughts? Um, yeah, I think it's the same thing. Um, Hydra is a really good team. I haven't gotten to play them yet. Um, I think we're playing them on Thursday. Oh. I, I have gotten to play against Toxic Waste, and I can tell you that they are a really solid team. They, um, one thing I would say is if MF Problem isn't having a good game, the, the whole team kind of suffers. So that might have been the issue there. I actually have two players, MF Problem and MF Siphon. Siphon yeah. that, I, that I kind of feel like we're connected, or maybe they just happen to have similar names. Either way. <laughs> Uh, we can go to the next one. Um, Century over Lucky 7's 2-0. Yeah. I do have to say, though, Newton's Law did not be sold. So I'm looking... I'm looking. What? Right. What are you doing? I'm, I'm looking through it now. Uh, MF Problem kind of did it backwards with his... How he did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah. Let me, let me make sure the Century over the Lucky 7's is right. Okay, yeah, that one's right. Yeah, that is the right. only one right up, up here. <laughs> All the other ones are flipped. I'll even beat a loser. Oh my goodness, Toxic Waste <laughs> lost and loser as well. <laughs> All right, well at least we can talk about Sentry versus Lucky Sevens properly. Um, I think I expected this result, although Sentry has had a lot of struggles in the beginning. Arco, you got any thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, this was kind of lucky. And Sentry, I mean, they don't have the best record, but they're one of the best. Is, That's for sure. Are we losing him, or is that just me? That was oh. me. <laughs> I think we're losing him. Uh, Arco, okay. uh... Am I back? Yeah. Yeah, you're back now. Okay. Um, right. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I would say this is kind of an expected result. I think uh, Sentry had some problems at the beginning of the season. They kind of lost, they lost a lot of their initial games, but they've been pulling it back really well and they're one of the best teams in the minor league they have three wins this this week they have an outstanding game against uh, average shows gym that has not been played yet i assume for the memorial day scheduling issues but they have uh, a three and a week right now against rainbow lucky sevens rebellion and kind of the bottom the the lower teams in the other conference uh, but you know that's that's good for them two oh wins across the board mm -hmm. um now, we can talk about Solar versus Newton's Law. Solar winning that one, not Newton's Law. Yes. Solar 2-0 over Newton's Law. I know uh, I'm the GM of Gravity. Newton's Law is our minor team. I know they are very upset with that game, and maybe something <clears> didn't <throat> click with them that game, but if Solar can pull off a win over Newton's Law, I would say they are a pretty decent minor team then. Yeah, yeah so I definitely think so as well. You go ahead, Arthur. Uh Yeah, Solar is... Probably one of the best teams, and uh, they're definitely the best team in um, Iron Division by far. Um, I think they could probably, they're probably second in, t in like the whole minor league. So I wasn't kind of, I wasn't really surprised that they were able to beat Newton's Law. Um, yeah. But to highlight Newton's Law themselves, it, was, it has been a bit of an unfortunate week for them. This solar loss being one of the last, um, a previous week that Newton's Law really kind of like pulled everything together and started winning a lot and shot their way up in the in the standings. Um, they're now they now took three losses this week, and it, I mean this is just the last one of kind of an unfortunate streak. Um, look to them to maybe pull this back around because you know as Baker was saying. 
maybe something wasn't clicking this week. Um, yeah. Team. Um, they they did get an FF win. I know that. Uh, they they uh, also ran a sub one of their games, which could have been the problem. But again, scheduling issues. You, you're to blame your own team. You cannot put that on anyone else. This is what happened, and it's done. Yeah. All right, and then lastly, much like Hydra vs. Toxic Waste, Elusive beat Toxic Waste um, in a in even more of a, in my opinion, um, another 2-0 loss for Toxic Waste. I think yeah. that's... I was really surprised at this one, honestly. Um, Toxic Waste, like I said, is probably one of the best teams. Um, they were undefeated for a long time. And Elusive, although they, they are a good team, but they don't have the best record right now. I haven't played them yet, so I'm not sure how good they are. They have lost quite a few players. I think they originally had Moist Tortoise and Dingo and Bionic, um, but yeah. they, they lost them all. They, they all left, and they've had a lot of replacements. Um, at least it's good to see that they're pulling things together now, and uh, yeah, for sure. they might also give the other teams a run for their money. Yeah, so we'll hop over into the standings for the challenger division here. You got uh, in Cosmic, you got Pinnacle, Nova, Toxic Waste. Do we potentially, in looking at this, they they have their wild card. They have you can see which yeah. teams are going to the playoffs over here. Yeah, between Toxic Waste at the bottom of the top three and CO two is just enough to say that that the that conference is locked down. Um, yeah. So, is in the other sorry that division I should have said the only issue is in the other division for the wild card spots in my opinion. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think there's any chance of um of CO two bringing it back. I'm pretty sure it's mathematically impossible. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I think there's twelve games left to play. Yeah. And toxic waste guess... still has to actually I don't know it might be possible. Might be a chance <laughs> if everybody else yeah. just starts losing like crazy, but I think yeah. then you have to account that somebody always wins no well, matter what series. C O two is also missing games, so if they can pull off nothing but wins from the end of the season and Toxic pull off nothing but loses, then you got a you got a matchup coming yeah. your way. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like you first have to get over the hump of actually scheduling your games instead of forfeiting them, <laughs> and then you have to get over the hump of actually beating. Up. Yeah. So. Uh, On to the more interesting part of the Challenger era is uh, for the playoff spots is the Steel Division, which you have Primal leading at the moment. Omega not far behind, though. So the real the battle here is going to be between Sentry and Newton's Law. Yeah. But I believe Newton's Law pulled off wins against both Sentry and Omega right now. So if they end up tying up, that could be a very interesting situation there. And and don't ever look at it like there's a wild card spot and Newton's Law and Century are fighting for that. They're also challengers for any of the top two spots. Primal like could have problems. Omega could have problems. Uh, the other teams could come up uh, in a race to either stay ahead or catch up. Yeah, Insight is definitely going to have to turn something around if they want to hop into the top five and make it an interesting race between five teams. But as of right now, you got the, the top four competing for playoffs, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I think one thing to note is Sentry. They've um, they've been playing really well recently. They've been, like, firing back up. I would look to them challenging for a playoff, like an automatic playoff spot. Now, if Steel Division ends up going hot and Toxic Waste does go on this losing streak, or continues their losing streak, we could see both wild cards moving over into the Steel yeah. That could be another situation. Nice peel for the movement over there. Yeah, so you guys want to move over to the star standings? Let's do it. Sure. All right. The star standings is a little, little cut and clear for who's running the Chrome division. You got Hydra and Animosity, both top two spots over there. Um, seven and seven elusive not far behind with a recent win that we saw over toxic waste um here um, oh go ahead Arco. uh one thing i wanted to note is nova is not 12 and three they're actually 13 and three 
Either 13 and 3 or 14 and 3. Uh, one of their, one of their teams okay. wasn't put in. Okay. Yeah. So it is a closer race then. But yeah. Animosity so. still missing, it looks like, one game. And Hydra missing one game. Um, uh. Over here you got B-Squad. I mean, if you look across both divisions, I'm going to go ahead and mix them up now. The wild card is going to be all over here. Because you got teams very close on both sides. Yeah. Last week are, are somewhat drastic. I think Rainbow, if we're looking just Iron Division as well, uh, Rainbow used to be up there even just last week, and now something's happening. They're not even being able to play their games, or they're just losing some games, and they find themselves uh, behind 5-11 and 11, they, amidst teams that they could probably beat, and they have beaten before. But they're just getting edged out of the wild card spot. Yeah, and this one kind of mirroring the the challengers is number one is pretty cut right now, but two, three, two and three are iffy, and then four is going to determine on the Chrome division and how well you do. So th this should be an interesting division to watch in the minors. It's going to be a lot like the pro compared to elite, and yeah, lots of upsets and lots of big wins are going to come out of this one. Um, one thing about Rainbow, they actually started off to an undefeated start. They went five and zero, and then they went. They're on an eleven game win uh, loss streak now. Yes. So, yeah. Speaking of streaks, I think Pinnacles on a thirteen win streak. Yeah, Pinnacles. Hydra or mm -hmm. Rainbow's on an eleven losing streak. That's <laughs> unfortunate. I want to note, uh, dropping in Pinnacle also has the most goals scored in a league game, I believe. Yep. They scored seventeen. Seventeen. Goals. Yep, seventeen goals. Oh, well. Interesting well, that yeah, this is say... coming out from minors and not the majors, but yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Totally it's a nice that. little title they get to put upon themselves for now until another team steps it up and drops 18. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, another thing to note, I mean, oh yeah, go ahead, actually. Uh, I was just going to say, it seems like competition is huge. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and uh, move into the minor leaderboards. Who's running the minor league at the moment? I'm going to have to wait for it to hop onto stream because in my OBS it doesn't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> Leading in goals per game, game is MF Problem, which is from a toxic waste player who is going on this losing streak, losing their, their lead in their division. Uh, but again, to note, like I was previously saying, MF Problem tends to be a, a heavy stat player. Uh, he is leading his team forward, or he's just like got the right mentality for play, whatnot, but he's still, uh, this time, for better results, he's still coming out top of goals per game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Him? Jared? Yeah. Um, Jared? What team is Jared on? Jared... Isn't he Galaxy Miner? Yeah. Which Him is and Solar. Nona. Solar. Solar, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so Solar is on is on a really they're really hot right now, so as expected you're gonna see a solar player up there. Mm hmm And Boca is on Pinnacle, so Yeah. Yeah, the top the top three of that is all top teams. I do kind of expected. I do have to shout out my boy Trippin coming in at the fifth spot. That's my boy. Good job on that Trippin. <laughs> That's quite excellent. I did not expect to see him there. Um, no offense to him, but there's, you know, like Omega's not doing as well as these other top teams necessarily. So it's natural to see these players from all these top teams doing it. But, um, but I mean, great for tripping. 1.29, yeah. not far behind. But it, uh, I do have to point out, it's funny that Trippin is the one pulling off the stats when Dijon is playing in the majors constantly. You would think it would almost reflect down into the minors and into his stats as well. Yeah. When, and when he's playing his minor stats games. For them, right? From doing stats for them, I've noticed Dijon is frequently playing the game. So, um, like, he's involved just as well. And there's a lot of talk about O Reborn Formula, the, the other guy apart from Catman. Um, who, who also pulls and assists. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and move into assists. I don't think there's much to say here. I'm just going to point out the top three. You got Vision Python, 
and uh, Jared both tied for assists. So Jared is second in goals and second in assists. That means this man is just pushing offense. <laughs> he is just they're pushing that from offense. Solar. Yeah. Both of those players are from Solar. So they're just. Uh, Vision, Vision's also from Solar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Solar's just going crazy on goals and assists. Uh, yeah. And uh, not to mention, you got Green but, Camo in third and uh, Nanix following close behind in fourth. And then just a huge gap between Nanix and Boca. Those players from Pinnacle. Green Camo is actually B squad. Yeah, um, and he's technically the sub for them. <laughs> but B squad, I know they, they tend to rotate their players around. They've got mm -hmm. four kind of equal, equally able players that they just play around. All right, I guess we can go to saves. Yeah, saves. Yeah. You got... Oh, I'm not even going to try. That's all you. <laughs> Trius. <laughs> I, I, I think he was recently uh, added in off the waiting list. Yeah, he's, he's the new CO2 player. player. CO2? Okay, cool. And then you got, well... You got Zach falling right behind. That's my boy, Newton Zah, representing Zach out there on second. Yeah. Scout Brett coming in in third at 1.4, tied with Zach. So pretty much Scout Brett and Zach are tied for second. Uh, what what team is Scout on at the moment? Is he... And the player underneath uh, him flying. He's he both on lane sevens. Okay, yeah. interesting. And then you have uh, the widest help pack out falling up behind. The whole Quantum thing. theory. Tied with flying keepers. So a lot of ties here. Um, a lot of saves. And yeah. Hey, same thing usually applies. High saves per game usually means that your team has a little more defense to do. Mm -hmm. Underdogs in a lot of games. Uh, good stat to have, I'd say. And then mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go hop through the uh, the leaders of goals and assists. We got Jared Taylor, who's pulling second in both goals and assists, but he's leading in points per game, which means this man is just putting up passes, shooting passes, and he's just ready for it. Yeah. Boca underneath him. Yeah, Boca... Uh, Boca pulling in a third from goals and then fifth in assists, but still, I think his goals is pushing him higher. And yeah, you do see him there in, oh, you said assists, yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think he's just barely off, but there's a lot of other inconsistent players that aren't showing up on both leaderboards, so um, he's still getting the benefit of... Yeah. And I think the you got no nut who I would say is right under Boca, but Boca's obviously leading in assists. I would, I w if I were to guess, the uh, Nanex would be right underneath Boca on assist. But the interesting one to see is you have Nanex only on assist, if that makes sense. So that means his, his points are leading him through assists, so he is the passer of his team. Yeah. And you might see if we expanded that goals per game leaderboard just a little bit lower, Nanex might pop up there, which is why he gets such a yeah. Such an addition there to mm -hmm. two point oh six. It's definitely an interesting little formula you got going on with Nanix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we'll go ahead and hop through the games to look out for for the miners. We're gonna start with uh Toxic Waste versus Animosity. Uh Toxic Waste is not doing too great right now, so I think Animosity is gonna maybe run them for their money. I'm I don't know, Animosity has also been doing hasn't been doing great. I think they've lost two games, two of their last four. But you got Toxic Austin Waste Nova, falling. No. Nova and Pinnacle recently, Animosity has. Um, top teams, absolutely. They're not the teams that Toxic Waste is losing to. Uh, or at least I'm thinking of Elusive. Um, still, you know, they need a bit of a pickup in their form. This might do it for them. Mm-hmm. All right. Better. And then we'll move on to Average Joe's Gym versus Omega. And uh, I'm going to base this one off of my minors for a scale. I'm going to say Average Joe's is going to pull the win over Omega just because Newton's Law beat Omega but lost to Average Joe's Gym. That is the only way I'm going off of this one. I agree with that too. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think Omega can probably pull this one through. They are... Pretty good team, Omega is, and um, I don't know. It, it, yeah, it seems like both of the teams are kind of like if they're driving well, then they're 
potent, but uh, sometimes they just have drops of form. And then we're going to go hop right into Hydra versus Nova. I don't know much about either of these teams because I'm not a miner, so you guys can go ahead with this one. We might as well actually sandwich this one and the next one together, um, but we'll totally... Solar Solar versus Pinnacle is the next one after this, but Hydra versus Nova is playing uh, Tuesday, where Solar versus Pinnacle is playing Thursday. Um, but it's important to note that there's also a crossover this week where Nova is going to play Pinnacle and Solar is also going to play Hydra. Um, so, like, they're about two top teams in... Are about to just go merry-go-round on each other here. Um, so a lot of potential here, but teams really have to be playing really well in order to get all the way through uh, and make the most out of this. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be some good games. I'm really looking forward to Solar and Pinnacle, two top minor teams just going at it. This is gonna be the best of the best of the miners. I'm gonna have to put that out there like that. Yeah, I think this. If this one isn't streamed, um, just look at the game logs for this one, because I'd be interested to see how close it is. Yeah. They're both really good, really good teams. I think my mic just cut out like crazy there. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. So, I no idea what just happened. I just realized it was silent. Uh, I'm back. I'm back. All right. And I think that'll wrap up what games to look out for for the miners, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, hop into the clip of the week and the clip of the week is going to go to flicks over an alpha he's going to come up the wall over here he's going to drop this one center he's going to go up for this he's going to go for a double touch he gets the double touch and flicks it in beautiful goal from flicks i, I personally picked that one one of my favorites because it's just so clean and nice there were a lot of ones to pick though i mean you know it's hard to pick from Alpha's team because they just tend to run over teams and there's nothing that's really like, you know, winning because they probably already won the game by the time they're doing clips like this, but still very nice. Yeah. And I do have to they're... point out, I believe that that little nice flip reset was dropped right onto Nick's face. So I'm just going to put that out there for Nick, <laughs> but it was dropped right onto Nick's face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's going to wrap up our roundup. Thank you guys for coming out. Squeal, big part about this roundup was all Squeal. Squeal pretty much got this together and uh, formatted it so we can get a little bit of understanding and not very chaotic. It was a little long. Thank you for everyone that stayed. I think we held the 20 viewers the whole time. Thank you for the bitch, Shaky, and the few other guys that gave us a couple. And yeah, it was fun. Good evening. Um, hopefully we will see everybody next week. Yeah. yeah. All right. Everyone take care. Enjoy this Gravity ad and uh, have a good night. Hi, y'all. Inspiration you won't find